never has anyone in the history of surfing been able to dominate his opposition like Kelly Slater. Um, and he's been able to dominate his, the whole competition his entire life, no matter what age he was at. And he's even dominating right now at the age of 39. And um, he was born in Cocoa Beach, Florida. And this is unusual for the best surfer in the world because Cocoa Beach, Florida doesn't have the best waves. And usually some of the best surfers come out of Southern California, Australia, Hawaii, that kind of thing. So he started at a really early age, which was really crazy too. He started surfing at just 19 with the ASP, which is the Association of Surfing Professionals. And 1991 was Slater's rookie season. And he finished at 43rd <coughs> his first season. So no one thought he was going to be like the best in the world. No one had any clue. And it was, and then he, he, com he comes back for his next season and he wins it at age 20. And he was the youngest surfer to ever win a world title. And this was like insane because it's, it still hasn't been broken. And that was in 1992. And so it, in, in the next year, he finishes sixth. So people thought that his first title was just kind of lucky. So he kind of he kind of proves them wrong, and he comes back the next season and he wins again, and he he wins the next four years in a row, and so he's just it just shows that right right then even in the '90s he was the best surfer in the world, and so his story just doesn't end there, and that's when he wins for five consecutive years in a row, and this passed up surfing legend Mark Richards to, for the most uh, win, most world title wins. I think he only had four. And already right here, at the beginning of Kelly Slater's career, he already has six wins. And he even dabbled in some of the other in the X Games. I don't know if you guys have seen the X Games on ESPN. And uh, he, have you ever, you guys have been to the US Open? Mm -hmm. He just won last year. So... He's, he's a really big name already. And uh, with the win at Boost Mobile Pro in Lower Trestles in San Clemente, he became the surfer with the most wins ever, not just world titles, but the most wins, any contest wins in all of surfing. And that was already in 2007. And have you guys heard of Baywatch? <laughs> he was on Baywatch for 10 episodes as Jimmy Slade. So he's, and he's like all around just a cool guy. And he even did some music stuff. So he was with his friend Rob Machado on the right, and they their band was like the Surfers, not really original, but he uh, he was in a band. They produced two albums, and um, that's it. Thank you.